Hello beautiful people. In today's video I will discuss about 7 natural ways to boost breast health. It is no secret that breast cancer and other hormone-related breast problems are on the rise. This time of year, grocery stores, car bumper stickers, packaging, and badges designed to support the cure. Ironically, these messages about stopping breast cancer are often on package s of food made from refined grains, sugars, and vegetable oils. My goal in this video is to point out the connection between everyday diet and lifestyle factors and how they can support or hurt breast health. What causes breast cancer? The rising rates of breast health problems are certainly not caused by a single factor. And there are a wide variety of internal and external factors that can contribute. Research is continuing to find new factors that seem to influence breast health. From big factors like vitamin D levels and chemicals found in breast tissue to the small amounts of toxins and chemicals we encounter daily. Hormones play a definite role in breast-related problems. Which is why hormonal contraceptives and abortion are both linked to higher rates of breast cancer. Which are lifestyle factors have been correlated with an increased or decreased risk of breast cancer. Factors that are commonly associated with a decreased risk of breast cancer are breastfeeding each child for at least six months exclusively and preferably for a year, having a child before age 20, having more than one child, maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, eating an antioxidant and omega-3 rich diet, getting enough vitamin D from sunlight or supplements, lifestyle factors correlated with an increased risk of breast cancer, Exposure to chemicals, especially hormone-mimicking chemicals through contraceptives, foods, plastic, and chemicals. Having first child after age 30 or not having children. Being overweight. Having multiple pregnancies but not breastfeeding. Smoking low vitamin D levels. Excess alcohol consumption. Light exposure at night decreases melatonin production. Here are 7 ways to boost breast health. 1. Maintain a healthy weight. The relationship between obesity and breast cancer is not fully understood. But we know it's important for women to keep a healthy weight to reduce risk. The production of the hormone, estrogen, in women's fat tissue after menopause is a major factor. In obese women, estrogen-sensitive breast cancer tissues are exposed to more estrogen than in women of a healthy weight. This can stimulate the growth and progression of breast cancer. Also, a recent study found that women who are obese, with a body mass index BMI, of 30 or higher, tend to have more advanced disease at the time their breast cancer is diagnosed than women with a BMI below 25. These women are also at greater risk for the disease spreading and are more likely to die of breast cancer. Breast cancer survivors who are obese also run a greater risk of the disease coming back. 2. Exercise 30 minutes a day, at least 4 to 5 days each week. Women who are physically active are 25% less likely to develop breast cancer than women who are sedentary. Research shows that regular exercise can help prevent breast cancer by boosting immune function, warding off obesity, and lowering levels of estrogen and insulin. Along with helping you maintain your weight, exercise can also improve bone mass which is a critical issue for breast cancer survivors who have undergone chemotherapy and endocrine therapy. These medications are tied to lower bone mineral density, which increases the risk of osteoporosis and bone fractures. Whether you're trying to prevent breast cancer, are fighting breast cancer, or have survived breast cancer, exercise can help. Walking is the easiest type of exercise to maintain. 3. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Have at least 5 to 8 servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Broccoli, cabbage, kale, watermelon and whole grains are cancer-fighting foods. Increase omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in walnuts, fish, soybeans and pumpkin seeds. Avoid refined sugars and fats. It is believed that good nutrition can help protect against a host of cancers, including breast cancer, and can slow or prevent the disease's progression or recurrence. 4. Limit alcohol to one drink per day. Women who drink more than one alcoholic beverage per day 
even just two drinks, are at an increased risk of developing breast cancer. Women who have three or more drinks per week after being diagnosed with breast cancer run a greater risk that their breast cancer will recur. 5. Take your vitamins, especially vitamin D. Women with low levels of vitamin D may run a greater risk of developing breast cancer. And breast cancer survivors with low vitamin D levels may have a greater risk of disease recurrence. The best source of vitamin D is from the sun. So women who don't get a lot of daily sun exposure can be deficient in vitamin D. Have your vitamin D level checked? If your levels are low, talk to your doctor about taking a vitamin D3 supplement. 6. Get a comfortable and non-restrictive bra. Though controversial, several doctors and researchers have pointed to a link between bras, especially underwire bras and increased risk of breast cysts and cancer. The theory is that regularly wearing a snug-fitting bra at this point of the body can restrict lymph flow and impede the body's ability to remove toxins from this part of the body. Michael Schachter, MD, explains. Over 85% of the lymph fluid flowing from the breast drains to the armpit lymph nodes. Most of the rest drains to the nodes along the breast bone. Bras and other external tight clothing can impede flow. The nature of the bra, the tightness, and the length of time worn will all influence the degree of blockage of lymphatic drainage. Thus, wearing a bra might contribute to the development of breast cancer as a result of cutting off lymphatic drainage so that toxic chemicals are trapped in the breast. A book written on the subject, Dressed to Kill, The Link Between Breast Cancer and Bras, explains that from the author's research, women who wore their bras 24 hours per day had a 3 out of 4 chance of developing breast cancer. Women who wore bras more than 12 hour per day, but not to bed, had a 1 out of 7 risk. Women who wore their bras less than 12 hours per day had a 1 out of 52 risk. Women who wore bras rarely or never had a 1 out of 168 chance of getting breast cancer. In search of a healthier bra, at the suggestion of a friend, I tried Kubi bras, which are wire-free. Not tight-fitting and have removable pads, which I use and also replace with nursing pads while nursing. I was able to find them locally, but the price was quite a bit cheaper on Amazon. Check the first link in the video description. And there were a lot of color options. I've found that they provide enough support without being tight at all. And work to nurse in, work out in, and to keep nipples from being visible under shirts. 7. Drink plenty of filtered water, reverse osmosis will remove hormone-disrupting chemicals and herbal teas. This is obviously a very complex subject with many factors that contribute. In this video are a few of the ways I've chosen to support healthy breasts. It is by no means an exhaustive list, and certainly not a replacement for self-exams. Diagnostic screenings like mammograms or thermography, or advice from a medical professional. Thanks for watching today's video. Did you learn anything new today? If you find this video helpful give me a big thumbs up. Please, don't forget to comment and subscribe for daily videos. Bye and see you in the next video.